from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of DockerCon Live 2020. Brought to you by Docker and its ecosystem partners. Hello everyone, welcome to DockerCon 2020. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. I'm in our Palo Alto studios with our quarantine crew. We have a great lineup here for DockerCon 2020. Virtual event, normally it was in person, face to face. I'll be with you throughout the day from an amazing lineup of content. Over 50 different sessions, CUBE tracks, keynotes, and we've got two great co-hosts here with Docker, Jenny Bercio and Brett Fisher. We'll be with you all day, all day today, taking you through the program, helping you navigate the sessions. I'm so excited. Jenny, this is a virtual event. We talk about this. Can you believe it? We're, you know, may the internet gods be with us today and I hope everyone's having an yes. uh, easy time getting in. Jenny, Brett, thank you for Hello. being here. Hey. Yeah. Hi everyone, uh, so great to see everyone chatting and telling us where they're from. Welcome to the Docker community. We have a great day planned for you. Guys, great job uh, getting this all together. I know how hard it is. These virtual events are hard to pull off. I'm blown away by the community at Docker, the amount of sessions that are coming in, the sponsor support has been amazing. Just the overall excitement around the brand and the, and the opportunities given this tough times we're in. Um, it's super exciting. Again, may the internet gods be with us throughout the day, but there's plenty of content. Uh, Brett's got an amazing all day marathon group of people coming in and chatting. Jenny, this has been an amazing journey and it's a great opportunity. Tell us about the virtual event why DockerCon virtual, obviously everyone's canceling their events, but this is special to you guys. Talk about DockerCon virtual this year. Yeah, you know, the Docker community shows up at DockerCon every year. And even though we didn't have the opportunity to do an in-person event this year, we didn't want to lose the time that we all come together at DockerCon, the conversations, the amazing content and learning opportunities. So we decided back in December to make DockerCon a virtual event. And of course, when we did that, there was no quarantine. Um, we didn't expect, you know, I certainly didn't expect to be delivering it from my living room, but we were just, I mean, we were completely blown away. There's nearly 70,000 people across the globe that have registered for DockerCon today. And when you look at DockerCons of past, right? Live events really, and we're learning, are just the tip of the iceberg. And so we're thrilled to be able to deliver a more inclusive global event today. And we have so much planned. Uh, I think, Brett, you want to tell us some of the things that you have planned? <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm going to forget something because there's a lot going on. But uh, we've obviously got you interviews all day today on this channel with John and the crew. Um, Jenny has put together an amazing set of all these speakers all day long in the sessions. And then you have the Captain's on Deck, which is essentially the the YouTube Live Hangout, where we just basically talk shop. We It's all engineers all day long, captains and special guests. And we're going to be in chat talking to you about uh, answering your questions. Maybe we'll dig into some stuff based on the problems you're having or the questions you have. Maybe there'll be some random demos, but it's basically uh, not scripted. It's an all day long unscripted event. So I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun hanging out in there. Well guys, I want to just say, it's been amazing how you structured this. So everyone has a chance to ask questions, whether it's informal laid back in the captain's channel or in the sessions where the speakers will be there with their, with their presentations. But Jenny, I want to uh, get your thoughts because we have a site out there that's structured a certain way for the folks watching. If you're on your desktop, there's a main stage hero. There's then tracks and Brett's running the captain's track. So you can click on that link and jump into his session all day long. He's got an amazing set of lineups le le leaning back, having a good time. And then each of the tracks, you can jump into those sessions. It's on a clock, but it'll be available on demand. All that content is available if you're on your desktop. If you're on your mobile, it's the same thing. Look at the calendar, find the session that you want. If you're interested in it, you could watch it live and chat with the participants in real time or watch it on demand. So there's plenty of content to navigate through. We do have it on a clock and we'll be streaming sessions as they happen. So you're in the moment and that's a great time to chat in real time. Uh, but there's more, Jenny, getting more out of this event. We, you guys try to bring together the simulation of community. How does the participants get more out of the, the event besides just consuming some of the content all day today? Yeah, so first set up your profile, put your picture uh, next to your chat handle and then chat. We have, like uh, John said, we have various setups today to help you get the most out of your experience. 
our breakout sessions, the content is pre-recorded, so you get quality content and the speakers in chat, so you can ask questions the whole time. Um, if you're looking for the hallway track, then definitely check out the Captains on Deck channel. Uh, and then we have some great interviews all day on the queue. So set up your profile, join the conversation, and be kind, right? This is a community event. Code of Conduct is linked on every page at the top, and just have a great day. And Brett, you guys have an amazing lineup on the captains, so you have a great YouTube channel that you have your stream on, so the folks who are familiar with that can get that either on YouTube or on the site. The chat is integrated in, so you're yep. set up. What do you got going on? Give us the highlights. What are you excited about throughout your day? Take us through your program on the captains. That's going to be probably pretty dynamic in the chat too. <laughs> Take us yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm sure we're going to have lots of lots of lots of stuff going on in chat. So no concerns there about uh, having crickets in the in the chat. But we're going to be uh, basically starting the day with two of my good Docker Captain friends, uh, Normal Meta and Laura Taco, and we're going to basically start you out. And at the end of this keynote, at the end of this hour, and we're going to get you going. And then you can maybe jump out and go to, to say some sessions. Maybe there's some cool stuff you want to check out in other sessions that are you want to chat and talk with the, the instructors, the speakers there. And then you're going to come back to us, right? Or go over checking out the interview. So the idea is you're hopping back and forth. And throughout the day, we're basically changing out every hour. We're not just changing out the, uh, the guests, basically, but we're also changing out the topics that we can cover because different guests will have different expertise. We're going to have some special guests in from Microsoft, talk about some of the cool stuff going on there. And basically it's captains all day long. And uh, you know, if you've been on my YouTube live show, you or you've, you've watched that, you've seen a lot of the guests we have on there. And I'm lucky to just hang out with all these really awesome people around the world. So it's going to be fun. Awesome, and the content again has been preserved. You guys had a great session on call for paper sessions. Jenny, this is good stuff. What other things can people do to make it interesting? Obviously we're looking for suggestions. Feel free to, to chirp on Twitter about ideas that can be done, but you guys got some surprises. There's some selfies. What else, what's going on? Any secret uh, surprises throughout the day? There are secret surprises throughout the day. You'll need to pay attention to the keynotes. Uh, Brett will have giveaways. I know our wonderful sponsors have giveaways planned as well in their sessions. Uh, hopefully, right, you, you feel conflicted about what you're going to attend. So do know that everything is recorded and will be available on demand afterwards so you can catch anything that you miss. Most of them will be available right after they stream the initial time. All right, great stuff. So they've got the Docker selfies. So the Docker selfies, the hashtag is just DockerCon, hashtag DockerCon. If you feel like you want to add some yep. other hashtags, no problem. Check out the sessions. You can pop in and out. The captains is kind of the, the cool cool kids are going to be hanging with Brett and then all the knowledge and learning. Don't miss the keynote. The keynote should be solid. We got James Governor from Red Monk delivering a keynote. I'll be interviewing him live after his keynote, so stay with us. And again, check out the interactive calendar. All you got to do is look at the calendar and click on the session you want. You'll jump right in, hop around, give us feedback. We're doing our best. Um, Brett, any final thoughts on, on what you want to share to the community around uh, what you got going on, the virtual event, just random thoughts. Yeah, uh, so sorry we can't all be together in the same physical place, but the coolest thing about us doing this online is that we actually get to involve everyone. So. As long as you have a computer and internet, you can actually attend DockerCon if you've never been, been to one before. So we're trying to recreate that experience online. Uh, like Jenny said, the code of conduct is important. So you know we're all in this together with the chat. So try to try to be nice in there. These are all real humans that uh, have feelings just like me. So let's let's ch try to keep it cool. And uh, over in the captain's channel, we'll be taking your questions and maybe playing some music, playing some games, giving away some free stuff. Um, while you're, you know, in between sessions learning. So yeah. And I got to say props to your rig. You got an amazing setup there, Brett. I love what your <laughs> show you do. Uh, it's really badass and kick-ass, so great stuff. Jenny, sponsors, Thank the you. ecosystem response to this event has been phenomenal. The attendance, 67,000. We're seeing a surge of people hitting the site now, so um, if you're not getting in, just, you know, just wait. Gonna, we're going to crank through the queue. But the sponsors and the ecosystem really delivered on the content side and also the sport. You want to share a few shout-outs on the sponsors who really kind of helped make this happen. Yeah, so definitely make sure you check out the sponsor pages and you go, each page is the actual content that they will be delivering. So they are delivering great content to you. Um, so you can learn and a huge thank you to our platinum and gold sponsors. Awesome. 
Well, I got to say, I'm super impressed. I'm looking forward to the Microsoft, Amazon sessions, which um, are going to be good. And there's a couple of great customer sessions there. And you know, I tweeted this out last night, and I'd like to get you guys' reaction to this because you know, there's been a lot of talk around the COVID crisis that we're in. But there's also a, a positive upshot to this: this Cambrian explosion of developers that are going to be building new apps and. I said, you know, apps, apps aren't going to just change the world, they're going to save the world. So a lot of the theme here is the impact that developers are having right now in the current situation. You know, forget the goodness of Compose and all the things going on in Docker and the relationships, this real impact happening with the developer community. And it's pretty evident in the program and some of the talks and some of the examples, how containers and microservices are certainly changing the world and helping save the world. Your thoughts? Yeah, so if you, I think we have, a, like you said, a number of sessions and interviews in the program today that really dive into that. And even particularly around COVID, um, Clemente Biondo is sharing his company's experience uh, from being able to continue operations in Italy when they were completely shut down uh, at the beginning of March. We have also in the Cube channel, several interviews about from the National Institute of Health and precision cancer medicine at the end of the day. And you just can really see how containerization and uh, developers are moving an industry and, and really humanity forward because of what they're able to build and create uh, with advances in technology. Yeah, and the first responders in these days as developers. Brett, Compose is getting a lot of traction on Twitter. I can see some buzz already building up. There's huge traction with Compose, just the ease of use and almost a call for arms for integrating into all the system language libraries. I mean, what's going on with Compose? I mean, what's the captain say about this? I mean, it seems to be really tracking in terms of demand and, and interest. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I think we're over 700,000 Compose files on GitHub. Um, so it's definitely beyond just the standard Docker run commands. It's definitely the next tool that people use to run containers. Um, just by having, the, just by, and that's not even counting everything. That's just counting the files that are named Docker Compose YAML. So I'm sure a lot of you out there have created a YAML file to manage your local containers uh, or even on a server with Docker Compose. And the nice thing is, is Docker's doubling down on that. So we've gotten some news recently um, from them about what they want to do with opening the spec up, getting more companies involved, because Compose has already gathered so much interest from the community. You know, AWS has importers, there's Kubernetes importers for it. So there's um, more stuff coming and we might just see something okay. here in a few minutes. So. All right, well, let's get into the keynote. Guys, jump into the keynote. If you miss anything, come back to the stream, check out the sessions, check out the calendar. Let's go, let's have a great time, have some fun. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the day. We'll see you soon.